Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. And today we are speaking with Trevor Dirksen, who is the CEO of ePlay Digital. How are you today, Trevor? Excellent. Uh, ePlay Digital is a uh, ticker is EPY on the CSE. And that's also trades in the US on the OTC with the ticker EPYFF. Uh, ePlay Digital, it's a very interesting company. Uh, you've got some interesting products in both the esports uh, and uh, entertainment as well as exercise space. So maybe for our first time investors looking at your company, you can give a quick overview. Sure, absolutely. Thanks, Chris. I'd like to emphasize three key reason why uh, investors should be looking at ePlay, perhaps over anything else at this moment. The first is Metaverse, something uh, hopefully a lot of people have been hearing about. Uh, we'll dive into that just briefly. Uh, esports and what we say is Peloton goes outside, uh, very important, and that's clocked. And, and the third is Fan Freak. So Metaverse, esports, Peloton goes outside, and Fan Freak. And I'll go over each briefly. But first, ePlay's built games for ESPN, uh, Sony Pictures, Intel, Time Warner Cable and others, games for sports, the Academy Awards, Los Angeles Lakers, FIFA World Cup. We've also put games with seven-time NBA champ Robert Ori, Olympic athlete Michael Smith, and comedian producer Howie Mandel. He plays launch two major collab game series with two more about to launch. Um, really, they are launched uh, in, in, uh, in some way already. The first two are Robert Ori and Howie Mandel. Uh, already with over a half million or nearly half a million downloads in the last five months, the Orion Mandel franchises are now focused on, on marketing, uh, driving revenue, and informing the approach with the next two product launches, Clocked and Fanfree. So four product lines, over 15 SKUs, accelerating innovation and revenues in the ePlay metaverse. Howie might be a world, ePlay is a metaverse. Facebook has WhatsApp, Instagram, and Oculus forming what they call Meta. ePlay's sports metaverse has Clock, Howie, Big Shot, and Fan Freak. Our augmented reality sports platform converges human performance, and we think that's the ultimate killer app, your epic achievements. So we've done this before. We do this at the highest level, and we do it every day. Maybe I could just ask you a quick question about Clock. Oh, sure. so the, 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 when you talk about Clock, I've heard you mention about the, the physical, the, the digital. So how do you, uh, you know, how do you get into clock uh, as a as a runner, uh, someone who you know goes to events? Um, I'm not quite a, a, a marathoner yet, but how would I get uh, involved with clock and, and use it to help improve my times? Well, so how you get involved with clock is great. Registration, it's a great question. Registration opens Saturday for our first 5K event. So it's not a marathon, it's not a half marathon, it's not a 10K, it's a 5K. So we're planning, uh, hoping to bring some people from couch to 5K. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we believe clocked as Peloton if Peloton could go outside. So if, if you want to stay inside and run on the treadmill and, and run on uh, or, or ride a cycle, a, a stationary bike, you've got options for that. There's competition for that. Mm -hmm. um, we're telling you it's a nice day, head on outside. Um, and so, uh, so you can get started right away registering for that uh, November 27th uh, event in Boston. What you'll do with clock is you'll, you'll first you download the app, then you customize your avatar. And then you'll send your avatar to Boston on race day. And you talk about physical to digital, really, really important. So your, your avatar is in Boston, but it ain't going anywhere else. You send it to Boston. It's ready to go. It's on the start line. And unless you move your feet and have your phone with you, mm -hmm. um, it's just going to stay standing on that uh, start line. And mm -hmm. uh, so that's where the physical, the digital really comes in. It's a really, really important part for clock we can dive into this and any questions you might have and that's audio and we sometimes forget about audio and, and it, it, it's to our peril if you look at what's happening in podcasts look at what's happening with clubhouse um and and clock has a huge audio augmented reality audio and video experience and so that audio experience is very important and it actually starts 30 minutes prior to start line time to the start time on November 27th, uh, that whole audio experience. Uh, there are other revenue generating potential from these types of virtual races. Um, you know, I've seen other things like virtual billboards, as well as, you know, special gifts you may get, which are 
you know, the non-fungible tokens, which are NFTs, which are now becoming big into the marketplace. How do you foresee, uh, you, know, you know, putting these into your product? Let, let me just deal with one of them at a time. Yeah. Um, let's deal with billboards first. Um, so on a 5K course, we've got five kilometers of real estate on your right, and five kilometers of real estate on your left, um, and um, an audio experience that you're already listening to where we can deliver ads triggered by landmarks, by key moments, by your performance, uh, by other things that are happening to you in real life. Um, your phone is in your pocket. So you're not watching while you're running that race and neither are the other hopefully thousands of people running on, on November 27th with you. I hope all their moms are. I hope all their dads are, their kids, their families on the clock sports net. And they're going to see those ads in real time during the live broadcast um, and on video on demand. And, and when you're done your event, you're going to watch the whole thing. It's 30 minutes long, 40 minutes long, depends how long it took you to run the 5K. You're going to watch that whole thing um, because it's going to be so compelling to see who passed you, what their names were, uh, what pace they were running, where they passed you. And, and then you'll see those ads and you'll share some of those moments, those replays and those highlights. And the app helps you create those replays and highlights, almost like a sports broadcasting package. So you can share those on social media. So yes, billboards or you know, banners and, and different advertising along the course. Imagine a, a marathon course, 84 kilometers worth of advertising. We're not going to put 84 kilometers worth of advertising, but that's how much real estate is yeah. available for us to sell in this metaverse. Yeah. Now, what are you going to wear? That, that's another revenue model. So you mentioned you know, banners and advertising. What are you going to wear? It's cold in Boston. It's November 27th. Um, we've got a major sports brand, uh, Spartan, with their, uh, their sneakers, uh, their tops, their bottoms. You can outfit yourself and everything clocked for free, but th we've got some premium brands available for purchase. And your other big recent announcement was the, the Fan Freak app. And I think maybe spending a couple of minutes on that because, you know, the sport, uh, apps out there they're they're very popular especially you know the fantasy um events and the fantasy application so maybe just a couple of minutes on 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 that app for sure so fan freak we talk about 22 we talk on clock of 22 million transactions in 2020 50 dollars each the market for fan freak there's 4.5 million daily fantasy players in a market estimated to be about 10 billion so we think uh, now that's a global market versus the 1.25 clock market of uh, this North American. So 10 billion in 2020 for, for that daily fantasy market. Um, Fan Freak is, it doesn't want to be a, um, you know, a copycat of daily fantasy of, of uh, DraftKings or, or so many other competitors out there. So we created a streak game and, and we're really committed to this. This came to us during pandemic when we, we started putting challenges out and how you go viral and, and other games um, to try and get people to play every day of the week. With clock, we want you to train five, six days a week and join us on the race on the seventh, maybe, or you know, maybe get a day off. Um, and with Fan Freak, you can't take a day off or you're gonna lose. Um, now you, the, you can buy lives, if you miss a day, you can buy lives or you get a wrong um, prediction on a sporting event. But you'll guess from NBA, NFL, MLB, NHL, soccer, uh, college sports, you'll put in your predictions. And the more predictions you get, uh, they contribute to your streak. You get certain cash out levels. You can say, I, I'm done. I'm not going to do any better than this. I'm cashing out. Um, or you can let it ride. And so it's free to play. Got playing every day. Watch playing every day. Got to build that streak, and um, and and uh, cash prizes um, start. You know, kind of at ten cents. If you if you don't have the guts to keep going, you can cash out at ten cents, or you know, all the way up to. We've secured insurance for million dollar prizes, kind of like hole in one insurance for million dollar yeah. prizes. We're not going to launch with a million dollar prize. Um, we're going to we'll launch some some smaller prizes uh, in the in the in the thousands and tens of thousands, uh, and let people build their streaks. Well, that's great. Oh, uh, thanks for the update. I look forward to uh, seeing how this first uh, event takes place uh, coming up, um, the, the first 5K run. And, and for people looking for the app, it's clocked with a K uh, on, on the Apple App Store. I've downloaded it myself. Um, and I just uh, want to tell you, I appreciate your time today. I was speaking with Trevor Durkin, who is the CEO of ePlay Digital.